Hey guys, it's Pistol Coffee, and today inside of this monster analysis video, we're going to be going over Epam Credondus, and we are going to be going over his moveset and his traits and everything to see whether or not he is worth getting out of the bounty hunt. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so first of all, Epam Credondus, I probably don't know how to say his name at all, by the way, but he is going to be a bounty hunt monster, and he will cost real money. So I'm basically just going to be going over him and telling you guys whether or not he is actually worth the money. So he's an attacker and his traits are Hardened, Immunocontrol, and self Dark Hater. Rank 1 is actually pretty great, Immunocontrol is really good, but the other two traits are not very good. And then his relics are Sword and Sword, which are pretty good for an attacker. But it doesn't have any way to give him stamina, so I'm not really sure how much I like those. Now let's go on down to his pros and his cons. So his pros are Solid, Power, Speed, and Trait, only weak to Metal, great raw damage numbers, Light Weakness, and Dark Hater help him counter his own elements, which is very good. Actually, all of those are pretty great. And then Solid, Self, Support, Moves, and Low Cooldowns and Stamina costs. So he does have some pretty great pros. I like how his power is pretty high and he has great raw damage numbers. Those both will help him do tons and tons of damage and the light weakness and dark hater will help him as well. And yeah, the self support moves are of course a plus and the low cooldowns and stamina costs are great as well. And then his cons are low life, bad relics that don't help him regain stamina, which I did already kind of go over. And then only torture is sunburn, which means he has to do raw damage, which is really annoying. But yeah, he does have good raw damage numbers, so I guess that doesn't matter too much. But yeah, the low life can of course be easily taken care of if you just put a tank on your team to block damage. But yeah, the only torture is kind of annoying, and then the bad relics are kind of annoying as well. So now let's go on down to the move set. So he has a self triple damage and dark hater. He also has a self 50% stamina and stamina regen with zero stamina, zero cooldown, which is really good. I like that a lot. And then he also has a team 50% stamina with stamina regen with damage boost and zero stamina, which is really good. And then he has a 75 light damage, and then he has a 60 light damage with sunburn, which is really good. And then the last but not least, he also has a 40 light damage aoe with light weakness and sunburn so he's got all right moves they seem pretty decent he seems like he'll be able to do a lot of damage but of course he does cost real money so i'm not really sure if he's worth real money but he can do a lot a lot of damage so he might be worth it for some people it really depends on if you already have a good attacker or not if you don't have a good attacker he could be worth it because he does do a lot of damage and yeah he might just be worth using but if you already have a pretty good attacker he probably isn't worth the 40 dollars he costs and yeah, because you are definitely going to want to rank him up to rank 1, by the way. That's why he's going to cost a little bit more. If you don't rank him up to rank 1, he won't be nearly as good because you won't have that immunity to control. His rank 3 is even still pretty great, so you might even want to get that. But yeah, it really depends on what monsters you're going up against for that one. But yeah, he's got some pretty decent moves. He seems okay. But yeah, he's got some pretty decent moves. He seems okay. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of him, though, because I do definitely think he's good, but I don't necessarily think he's worth money yeah let me know down in the comments if you guys think he is and i'll see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye